Oof. All right, but now we got the classic. This is like a father and son. Fa yeah, I was about to say father and son matchup between Zidi and Seagull. Seagull is definitely the um, very much like he, now Seagull definitely used to be in the same. Like for those who watched Smash Four back in the day, back, back when it was in 2015 era, 2016, it was the like Seagull like Sand used to be the Seagull show and the Boss show. Yep, Seagull like, and yeah. Boss Tuesday. Yeah, it's like like Boss with the with the pre nerf Smash Four Luigi, boss show. and you had to, <laughs> you had the the, the the Sonic from Seagull. But this is like still in the making seven years later. Yep. And we're still seeing it here. Seagull, interestingly enough, picking the Aegis. I've never actually seen him do this. We don't really have any Aegis players in Maryland, honestly. We don't. And Loki, I feel like Joe could probably have a decent one because, like, they're all fundamental for the most part. Like, there's some fringe situations where you can't be aware of, but, like, it's a character with a sword that's fast. Almost yeah. everyone who's played Smash for a few generations has yeah. that. Yeah, you're, you're kept your jump. Yeah, that actually, air dodge was. Yeah, uh, yeah. That air dodge was, to be honest, can I part my friend? It was shambolic. Yeah. That, that air dodge was incredibly poorly timed, and the photon edge before that was also looking mighty, uh, um, um, uh, mighty uncouth. To be honest, if I say so myself, anti air with the ray of punishment, though. Wow. Yeah. And that recovery situation that was a side B into air dodge kind of vibe, like cover yourself at the ledge. But oh, actually, missing the F kill that would have gotten the kill. But here we go. Oh, smoke! Oh my gosh, you're dead, yep. That was actually, okay, so I, I knocked him for the Photon Edge and the Air Dodge, but my god, that was a perfectly timed Blazing End to be able to the Illusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, ZD actually missed the check face right now, though. And as soon as you get touched at myth, by Mithra at zero, you know you're going to be thinking for a ride. That character sticks to you. Oh, pulled a little bit of a Cosmos right there. Just F smashing at the ledge. Bye. Bro, That's that was it. sick. That was it. That was a C. That was a ZD moment. That was a very much a Z dark, a ZD song. A certified ZD moment. Put a stamp on that. Also, streets say that uh, <laughs> shout out to Christina, Seagull's wife, who says that he's been working on this character for exactly two days. <laughs> he's coming at Zap Darby with the two day, the two day Mithra. Why can I imagine that so vividly? Just Seal sitting at his house, and then just like my, my Edis is amazing. Yeah, My this is the best in the region. This kid in his lap, like, hey, let me show you one. Yeah. This is hot. Because they being okay, Joe. <laughs> God. Seagull's a character, man. <laughs> one of a guy. I love that guy. All right. But Pyro's coming out. And yeah, I was going to say, if you don't get that hit or, like, you know, stay close, you better switch back to Mithra because you're just going to be run over and lose by Pop. Great grab. All right. Oh, got him again. again, a blazing end. That's like, maybe that's, maybe that specifically is what was left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one move. Yeah, that situation, second verse, same as the first mm -hmm. right there. What do I do against you? <laughs> Dear Dyer, today I was able to hit six out of seven blazing ends. <laughs> <laughs> I was hyped. Hi. <laughs> <I'm> nice. <laughs> that's, that's definitely the sequel. All situation goes for the tried and true again. Put himself off stage. The day two kind of showing its ugly head. It's like an uh, Don't jump. Okay. behave yourself. It goes for the forward smash. Not quite. Got him with the big anti air. And I'm also also street say. Christina says my ass oh, my ass my assessment was correct. That was indeed how it went. <laughs> <laughs> Kid in his lap. Yo, yeah. let me little Timmy. Let me show you why. Nice! <laughs> yeah. You're going to be the best player in the region one day. Exactly. Chris, Christina's, me. Christina's sitting, sitting like, you're not going to use this. Tournament, are you? And then, of course, Seagull. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yep. What do you mean? <laughs> That's right. it. Sticking with it. Sticking the Mithra is back again. All right. Let's see. All right. Well, hey, he was cooking. He was cooking. He, he had the, time, it, like. it, 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 He does have the ingredients. It's just the it's just the matter of when or whether or not he's gonna take it out of the oven in time. Will it come out burnt? Will it come out too early half baked? Let's see if Sequel Joe has what it takes. Is he Chef Boyardee? We'll find out today. Because right now it doesn't look like this Mithra is eaten enough. I mean, she's not getting a lot of damage. All oh, the foresight, but not getting anything off that as well. I mean, it's Fox. Like getting any punch on anything is hard. Goodbye. Uh, did, did you I, ever jump? That nope. looked like that looked yeah. like action reap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looked like action reap. <laughs> Why did that move not supposed to work like that? That move was not supposed to work like that. Oh my god! 
No, like, look at the way he rose up and then rose down and it sent him at that angle. Oh my god. ZD ma ma making you question Smash itself. Foresight also making you question Smash itself. Why fight this? Thank you. That is that, yeah, the, the Pyra, when it shows up for five seconds, is where the majority of lapping was done. As a matter of fact, I'll press the down B button right now. Seagull certainly looking like he's good when he gets those off situations. He's making a lot of mileage off of that against ZD. But ZD definitely running the show in terms of being able to just get so much damage off the, each individual hit and just outpace them in that department. I mean, Pyra do be left trapping. That's the big thing about this character. Like, she switches over, then your whole risk assessment thrown off like this. Oh, you bet it too late. He actually burned his jump right there. Yeah, that, that should have been like, that, that was definitely a seagull. Like, this one, nice yeah. moment. <laughs> Okay, going back to the Mithra now, it's back in neutral. Oh, that should be. Okay, no punish. ZD not quite testing it. And looking for a big roll right there. I not going to find I'm, it. I'm to jump. Um, maybe. Maybe. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, but this. Mithra kill? Almost. I don't know about this in the pie right here. At this percent, like. Yeah, that's like, yeah, ZD's not going to get, like, it, 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 oh, that would have killed Pyra. So true! That's why, that's why in those high percent situations, I just like power up. So it true. out, because they have to get close to you anyway, so, you know, head your bet. Yeah, exactly. You got, like, a, you got a bunch of, like, every move you have basically killed me. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this going to be some more big damage, but we're going to see a switch. I mean, Mithra can only really get consistent kills, like, with Rage, because the knockback scale is wonky on some of her moves. This is so true. Oh. Uh, Fishing, fishing. This yeah, isn't looking like, good. You, you, you should know ZD better than that. So you know, oh, yeah, yeah. ZD is not the type to roll out of the corner from ledge he, when he is feeling confident. Yep. That's one of those times where I would kind of run you down as Mithra, get the hit, and then like just switch to Pyro, and then just ride that out because unless ZD is willing to like just circle camp you with lasers, it's he's gonna have to get close eventually. Yeah. And I, I, the only reason I speak the way I do right now is because Seagull knows ZD better than almost anybody. Yeah, he, almost anybody. Yeah, like the, like out of any, everybody in the region, ZD and Seagull probably one of the tightest, most unbreakable brotherhoods out of Three, most pairs two, yeah. of players. Brotherhood. That's that's Seagull's third son. Okay, third well, my, my fault. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, yeah, like the extended family. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I like this is the most this is the only father son relationship I would ever like consider in terms of like yo we're like yo like, you you, you help me get to where I am today type for real for real. <laughs> All right, actually not getting auto cancel on board there, but still stacking it up with a little uh, two piece right there. Okay. The counter the counter pick to the battlefield I kind of like that in terms of maybe like okay cool even if I can't get like it looks like Mithra Mithra from, but again it's day two Mithra so maybe he's not super confident in the true combo strings but he can still get a little bit better at some of the platforms so I think that could work very well for Seagull. Yeah. Oh good tech roll in. And that was actually really hard to see on the stage by the way. I could barely see which way she was moving. Yeah, that just the, the colors on this are a little bit hard to see. Yeah. I look for a blazing end. Just have to retreat back a little bit. And actually using that, this is a free punish. Yeah. No Even kill. Force match, yeah. But no kill there. Yeah. Oh, do it. Goodbye. Oh, actually. yeah. It was a little bit too far down. Yeah. It's very easy. Like that firebox doesn't have a lot of distance, so it's kind of easy to misjudge just how far it goes, just to how crippled you're used to being. <laughs> Especially when both characters are off stage and the camera's zooming. It's kind of... You kind yeah, of yeah, bearing. the camera kind of rotates a little bit. It makes it hard to see. Yeah, you miss relative track of to the, the Yeah. Oh, that's... That actually could have been a huge dash attack. If that caught ZD before he touched the ground, he burned his jump there. Kind of uncharacteristic. Oh, but this should be a little three-piece. No, not getting the right uh, string right there. Yeah, that could have been... They definitely game. messed up my order. Yeah. Like, I didn't even get a side with that. Where's my drink? <laughs> you expect me to enter this combo without my <laughs> my diet, Doctor Kill? Legit. <laughs> right. So far, Seagull, though, he definitely is doing. He's faring better with the Mithra compared to the previous games. Yeah, this extra platform, the movement has been nice and, and actually it, staying alive, though. That's the counter pick. The blast mm -hmm. zones are are pretty far out. Kill him. Come on. There we go. Play it away. There you go. All my laughing for the clutch moment. Goodbye. You can't do that. It's good stuff for ZD, but yeah, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot. Well, Joseph, the runoff, the, the runoff for Photon Edge, unfortunately, was putting him in a precarious situation. Drag down. Okay. 
for no, nice laser. That's OG. <laughs> yeah. Legit. You take Not on my watch! <laughs> yeah, I take 0.75% instead of 2%. Yeah, that was a really great jump call out from ZD as well, getting that up air as Zeal tried to jump out of the corner. Okay, forward tilt to dash that. Ooh, build a combo right there. Um, yeah, the, the routes definitely still look like they need, need a little bit more development on this day two Mithra. Here you comes the, the game changer. Okay, okay, we're back. Put it, put it. Right. I thought, like, this is my problem solved. <laughs> this is the ringer. Yeah, like, you, you, the fire is here to air, like, just, just, let me just air out this stock of the one. Yeah. Blazing in! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a jump here. No, GG. GG. I don't think Joe knew. No, I don't think Joe knew. No, this is, this is where the lab is. Why do you, okay, all right. <laughs> Get him off stage. This is where the lab comes in. Off stage. GG! Unless. Unless. Okay, tech rolling uh, in. That dash attack's gonna be pretty big, this but. Is where the this is where the lab comes in. He's gonna jump. The, the lab Joseph. Joe, the. Bro, I said. Joseph, the, the, the lab. Switch? The lab. The lab. He's gonna jump. He's gonna. He's going to jump. He's going to jump. I Siegel, felt Joe, please. This I is your son. Two. I felt it too. Oh no, now you're off stage. Oh wow, ZD narrowly surviving that up air. Yeah. Honestly, the way these positioning looks like ZD might be trying to oh, fade out Blazing Hand, but there's the Nair and there's the game. ZD on the board. Or excuse me, Seagull Joe on the board. I'm glad that he's I'm glad that he got science. Mm -hmm. yep. Empirical evidence and objectivity. Science will know the truth, and that's why Seagull's lab, lab results and rigorous experimentation paid off with that Pyra cleaning up the stock. You know what's important the scientific method? Repetition. You gotta be able to repeat those results a few more times yeah. before it's accepted. I also just heard a, 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 a new variable has in, been introduced into the equation. I heard this. Who is it? Oops. Has anyone ever heard of this? Has anyone ever heard of the ZD joke? <laughs> what is going on? This is no. This is where we see the father son. This because <laughs> this this went from oh dad you're so funny, and then they just start playing whatever they want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you got me with that up here. <laughs> Hit the gamer lean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> gamer lean. I'm going. <laughs> Stay back. I'm about to actually try. <laughs> so the ZD Joker, I believe, is unprecedented. You're here every Tuesday. Is it or is it not? Have you seen this before? Um, not a whole lot. I think I saw like one of the grind tournaments, like every now and then when they go random ass characters and grand. That's hilarious. But you know, it's a rare occurrence. Maybe inspired a little bit by Leo at Smash Factor over the weekend. Absolutely looking the like one, yeah, like he. He, he brought out the problem solver from the one time. The problem solver. Yep. Saving ultimate. <laughs> Saving ultimate with Joker, by the way. Oh, my goodness. But actually, you do not want Arsan against um, when you don't have a jump on this matchup because it's so free to get. Oh, yeah. Things. Oh, yeah. The down air is washed. Down air is yeah. washed. Like, that's active for like five years. You think about touching the ledge and you're already spiked. Bro, ZD is, ZD's gun usage, he just, he, he, be, he, be, he even let that joint sing for three, two or three shots, and then he does a rainstorm. Like, he, he just be doing that joint in place. Yep. Fully exercising the Second Amendment right there, but I mean, the gun is not mightier than the sword today, especially when it's Pyro hit me with that forward air. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yo, that, ZD is zoning! My God, the seagull is doing ballerina dances in the middle of the stage. He's like, take this three, take this three percent, big fella. Focus. <laughs> Ooh, off stage. Oh my uh, goodness, it's, Oh, it's all. I, he thought he was him. He almost was him. I thought it was him. Hemi Neutron. <laughs> him. Bro, more gunshots. I'm softening you up. I don't have to approach. Why do I use a hop? I mean, he kind of does have to approach. Well, Got actually, him. not on this matchup. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Did you see the percent? from those gunshots added up to a kill. Stop. You stop. And listen to facts <laughs> and experience. It did. From, from it did. Legendary ZD Joker. The Unforeseen. This is going to be an interesting thumbnail, huh, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just going to get the grab right there, but actually dying away. And oh, wow. So you're getting carried across the stage. And there's the Arsene up there. Again, Siegel not capitalizing on, on, on that in time, though. Trying to read the jump. Yep, ZD gives it. away. Almost catches the landing. He needs to the grab there. Got a little, a little bit of a drop on the. Uh, wow, gets clipped with the. Oh man, getting clipped with the, a little bit of the egg on still means to take the full 20 damage over time. Hold that. That sucks. Okay, but at least our send's gone. Though. At least we managed to survive that one. And you know that ZD doesn't have the uh, fair up air drag down on deck quite yet. Uh, he missed the first one. He missed 100% of them so far. Warming up. Yeah. 
That is a stale affair on a high on a high ceiling of town and city as well. So the science is definitely going to pay off, but in due time it seems. Yeah. Gets that back there. And now we get, here we go. Blazing yeah. in. He goes with a problem solver, not quite able to find it. He was able to jump that situation. I do like that dash attack. My goodness. De oh, oh a little bit too low. Just a little bit. Might be a little bit of a, a, dis a little bit of misjudgment on how far it flies. It, it looks like, he, yeah. It looks like he didn't quite hit the right angle as well. If he had hit the angle just right, he would have poked a little bit above ledge and would have been able to make it back. Yep. Now Siegel's been extending a lot. He's been getting a lot off of these juggles with Mithra. Clearly, been paying off. Definitely easier to juggle a character like like Fox is actually a pretty damn hard character to juggle. At low percent, especially yeah. yeah. But we have been seeing. Do it. That wouldn't oh. have killed. That would not have killed. It, he should have aimed for the ledge. Yeah. yeah, that is true. He should have done Matt Hands to the ledge. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Joker if Ziti was, was that. If Ziti was matching, yeah, he would have made it back. Yeah. The Prominence Revolt does not really have a strong spike hitbox on the way down. It's like a, it's like a little nudge. It's nothing crazy. Yeah. But what looking is, what is crazy is the science. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We didn't. Okay. He did not. Okay, Lil Timmy did not see that one. I don't, I don't know if Christina saw you lab in that one. <laughs> let's, I don't know. Let's go for it. What's, what's it going to do? What's it going to What's it gonna do? Still in neutral. Going with the Mithra. What uh -oh. the world force mass from Zach Darby? My God. Oh, amazing. Amazing reactions on the full, on the grab on the ledge get up. All right, so CD. Look for a Rebel Guard right there, actually. But he's still just a couple pings away from Arsene. Would it be huge at this percent? Like 60%? That's prime back air, like early cheese and stuff. The point, the point blank was waving in as well. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, All right Arsene exists. Arsene is a factor. The call and out and Science hey. is a factor. Yes, sir. Labbing. Labbing. You know the seagulls teach me. Yep. Science teacher, I think. What did I say? Yep. I'm hitting the lab. Science will know the truth. Indeed it will. Now, what's ZD going to do? I admit, we've seen consistent myth -row. From Seagull. Mm -hmm. ZD. Okay, he will now he will go back to Wolf. Riding this all the way out. Respect that. Game five situation. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of feeling science. Three, two, I mean one. it's been uh, working uh, pretty uh, well. Uh, uh, uh. Science will know the truth. Okay. I said going into this <laughs> going into this game five between Seagull and ZD. Very wild picks in very interesting moments throughout the set, and it's coming to a head here. ZD getting a lot off of that one neutral win. Seagull kind of pick, uh, pricking and prodding with each individual hit, but not able to get a lot of strings. And using Mythos frame data to interrupt um, ZD's pressure attempt. So that time, gets that grab called out. Pretty big punish right there. Like for an up kill, able to get it. Oh, okay. This is going to oh be actually kind of a hard recovery to me. But you to science. He went for a myth of forward smash instead of the pyro ledge trap. Oh. <laughs> All right, here comes fire. Yep, tried to punch this landing, but ZD playing with fire a little bit right there, sticking that nair and able to survive yeah. that storm. That nair is so scientific. He's been getting so much mileage off of that. Goes yeah. to the pyro. Oh, a little bit too far away. I like that he didn't go with both on edge because that definitely would have put him in a situation to get hit out of it. Yeah, he was dead, like 100% there. So, try to go for smarter recovery. Needs a kill with Pyra, ASA possible. Yep, but I sense the promise as well. It's gonna come out, and oh, that's bad. You need to switch back, and nice. the platform's actually saving Seagulls behind right there. Yeah, you're gonna need that one. Trying to dash back and forth, take things a little bit slow, decompress a little bit. ZD's not trying to give any room for him to breathe. Are we going to see a power switch? I might switch pretty soon. I mean, Mithra would get blown up by almost anything. Yeah, yeah this is true. Percent. Oh, there's uh, a Nair. Wow, that was a really good position Nair, getting him getting in between Mithra and the ledge. So that way, you're going to have to get put in that situation. You need to get knocked away, get put in a tech stage situation, like, or, or a stage -like situation like that. Yeah. OK, but Seagull actually able to get that Nair, and so ZD drops that stock. And if he goes absolutely buff wild right here, I. So I think he still has a shot, but it's kind of hard to do that again, or as Mithra if you haven't labbed out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm like if he if he goes from day two to year two, like on some on, on some gold hunter x hunter type joint, then we might see it. But no, see, that yeah. is yeah, like yeah, like like uh, do a little bit more research. Do a little bit more research. It was look it, it brought it to a game five, which is definitely worth some merit. Good stuff to Seagull.
But yeah, that was it was certainly an entertaining set. 100%. I love seeing the ZD Joker. That was wonderful to see. So shout out to both players on that one. Yeah. I'm glad Joker is kind of re-entering a renaissance because I mm -hmm. don't think that character ever should have fallen off. Like, not, yeah. yeah. It's like, weird. It's not really a lot of... It's, it's strange that there's not a lot of top Jokers. Just like in the same way, in the same sense that it's strange that there's not a lot of other top, uh, other top level characters like at, or other characters at top level. Like you don't see, you don't see Pikachu's. Like Esam's, like he's he didn't even go to anything, and he 